How to get better game sense in Fortnite. Make smarter decisions in game. First, I'm gonna talk about what game sense is. Game sense is your decision making skills when analyzing data from the game. For example, let's say someone is building and popping a flopper. You're going to think that that guy is weak, so you peek. Now, now game sense is obviously more complicated than that, but every single thing you do in game is game sense. To get better at game sense, you will have to make better decisions and read data from games better. And today I will show you how to do that. The first method is reviewing your game and finding out your mistakes. In Fortnite and other games, there's usually a replay feature so that you can check what happened in the last match. If your game doesn't have one, just record your screen by using OBS or some other screen recorder. Each time you die, analyze what went wrong. You might blame it on luck, but that's actually the most likely reason why you're losing fights. Just blaming it on the game won't push you to do better, so blame it on yourself and what did you do wrong. A lot of game sense comes from mentality. Once you have a right mentality mindset, look at what led to those mistakes. Did pushing led to you dying? Did you forget you had to reload or did you peek for too long? Now, this itself won't improve your game sense. You also have to get rid of your mistakes, and here's how to do that. When you are reviewing your gameplay, List all your mistakes on paper or type them out. Find a solution to the mistake. For example, if an enemy is camping, a solution might be to peek every angle when you enter a place. Now, try practicing that thing every time. This is way harder than it sounds because it's hard to get rid of bad habits. A tip to remind you of your mistake is that once you die again, look back at the sheet and keep doing that until you fix your mistake. Reviewing your gameplay will definitely help you out the most, but fixing your mistakes will only get you so far. Another method of better game sense is VOD reviews. VOD reviews are basically what happens when you study the best pros gameplay. I like this one because you can study them while just enjoying the live stream or the video. Try to look at why the pro peaked. Also, look at what they do to their teammates. Take notes of what they're doing right and what you're doing wrong. Again, it's hard to transfer knowledge into your own gameplay, but when you do, it'll be worth it. Now, if you don't got the time, or you're just too lazy to review your own gameplay or others' gameplay, here are some things you can do to improve game sense. One is communication. If your game has teammates, communicate with them. Talk about how much health they got. What weapons do they have, and should you push? For example, let's say someone is on the edge of circle in Fortnite. You can call out to your team how many mats you have. If everyone is low on mats, launch pad to zone. If you didn't communicate, your teammates might think you have all the mats in the world leading you to die. I guess this is the simplest method to improve game sense, and that's just playing the game. But when you do, look at all the spots that you go through or die in. Just study the map. Studying the map will let you know where enemies are most likely at, so you can peek. It also lets you know where places you can camp at or hold until someone comes through. You can also know how and when to push if you have good map knowledge. Communicate with your teammates a special route to push and how to attack it. Now, let's talk about audio. A ton of games have different audio sounds for each weapon and footsteps. This tip might not be as important, but it can really help you make de better decisions. I recommend every gamer to use headphones because of this. Try to find where and which gun the sound is coming from. You can tell the difference between assault rifles and shotguns in most games easily. But there's a main reason I put audio as part of game sense, and that's footsteps. You can tell if enemies are left or right, or even behind you, if you hear it on both sides. You can hear from top to bottom, but that's a bit hard to tell. Use your audio and decide to make a push or peek. This is a whole new part of game sense, and that's what all the tips tie into, and that's positioning. You see, once you gather info with all these tips, station yourself based on that info. For example, if you hear someone walk into a house, for example, go report that info to your teammate. Look for a good view of the enemy without exposing yourself. A ton of people already do this, which is good. This method of positioning is called corner peeking. This is a perfect example of game sense, of good game sense. You can see enemies and gather info based on your game sense. If they have a disadvantage, for example, their back is facing you, just rush them. And if you die, review your mistake. Repeat that cycle over and over again. No one ever masters game sense no matter how good you are. GameSense is always something to improve on because of the new updates in games. GameSense also doesn't come overnight. It might even take years to develop. For example, that's why pro players like Stroud is so good at Valorant. Yes, his mechanics are there. All his years of playing CSGO really transfer into new games. Thanks for watching and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.